In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate how the proportional representation voting approach uh, can be used in for the GAA for GAA elections um, using Moodle. So what I have done here is I've taken uh, two uh, instances of this where I'm using what's called the questionnaire activity in Moodle. So I'm using a questionnaire in one case. I'm asking users to rank some GAA presidents and the voter names will be um, shown in the results. And in the second instance, I'm, it's the same thing, rank various GAA presidents, except this time the voter names won't be shown in the results, except you will know how, who has voted, but not for whom. So let's look at the first one. So I'm at, logged in here as um, in the administrator role. I don't have the student privilege on this account, so I can't actually demonstrate how to vote but I can demonstrate the results. So what I've done is that the, um, the questionnaire has been set up, the question's been set up, and now I can view the responses. So when I view the responses, uh, this is a summary of the results here, which might be slightly hard to follow. And then there's the list of responses. So the summary is here by default, list, the list of responses is um, the more easy to follow for the moment. So these people have all voted in the last hour or so, and they have ranked four GAA presidents. Um, so the first one, first user here is Barry O'Loughlin. And Barry on this list has given number one to Christy Cooney, number two to Liam O'Neill, number three to uh, Nikki Brennan, and number four to poor old Sean Kelly. So that's Barry's uh, choice. And then if I go back to look at somebody else, I'm going to pick Karen Guest. So in Karen's case, she's taken the easy approach and Nikki is number one, Sean Kelly's number two, um, Christy Cooney's number three, and Lee O'Neill is number four. So the way this question is designed, she couldn't give uh, a number one ranking to two or more um, people. And likewise, the same with number two, three, and four. So each, so that effectively ensures that there has to be a one, a two, a three, and a four on the list. It can't be two ones or two twos, etc. So that's the outcome. Um, what you can do then with the results, if you want to, the, this questionnaire obviously won't eliminate the lowest candidate if it's an election, and then distribute his or her second preferences if you need to carry out that process. So when I go back to um, my list of responses or my summary, there's an option somewhere here. Yeah, here it is to download my results. So what I can do here is download the questionnaire uh, res results for each of the people that have responded. So seven people have responded and they've all ranked our four presidents um, in, the, in, the, in that exercise. So when I download them, I'm given a number of file choices, so I can go CSV. I'm going to go for Excel, and the data will be downloaded. So the file has been downloaded, so I'll open it up. And at first glance, these columns here really aren't too important, so what I'll just do is I'll just delete them for the minute out of the way, so they won't clutter us, or a number of columns aren't too important anyway. So, um, so we'll delete all of that. Okay, I'm not sure what this these numbers here in the left mean, 40, 50, etc. What they actually mean, for 50, 48, etc. I don't know what they mean. Um, they probably reflect something on Moodle in that work. So there the users, the usernames are there. Now in the other cases, you'll see a little bit later on, the usernames are won't be visible here. Okay, so you won't see usernames, you won't see um, other details, so you won't. So that'll be anonymous. So what the Q1, what this is up here is, is who has the Q1 vote relates to Nikki Brennan. Okay, so if someone puts down a one here, Karen Guest therefore has nominated Nikki Brennan number one. Uh, the Q2 votes for Sean Kelly. Okay, so she's put Sean Kelly number two. Uh, she's put Christy Cooney number three and Liam O'Neill number four. So that's the, so you only see Liam O'Neill's details over here, but that's kind of misleading. So if I widen the four columns, that'll be more obvious. So there's Nikki in column D, there's Sean Kelly in column E, 
Christy Cooney in column F, and Liam O'Neill is in column G. So the, uh, what we know, therefore, from that is that Nikki Brennan has got a number one vote from Karen Guest, from Jodie McDermott, from Seamus Ryan. Um, and on the other hand, uh, Sean Kelly has got number twos and fours from several people, and he got a number one from Stephanie Duffy. She must be a Fine Gael voter, so she must be. Okay, so that's what you can do with the data. So the, the data can be downloaded, and obviously then what you can do is, using tools within Excel, you can sort the data in various ways. So you'll uh, bundle all the number ones for, say, Nikki Brennan together, and so on and so forth. So you'll be able to carry out the PR and the elimination of candidates and the allocation of their votes to, to whoever else um, through Excel. That, that won't be done through Moodle in this case. So Moodle is good for uh, ensuring people who only vote once, ensuring that they vote one, two, three, four. And uh, it allows us then to um, download the results. So I'm going to go back briefly and look at the second uh, question, where it's the exact same question, except that the, the voter names are not visible. So here we are. I'm going to view all the responses. And it's the same for it's the same seven users that have replied, as you'll see here. Same seven people, except they're now called response one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go back again, and I'm going to download them. So it's the exact same process. So I'll download again to a, an Excel file. And when I open the Excel file, hopefully it will show me that. So again, as you can see here, the um, in the column H here, full name column, that's recorded as anonymous. And the email address obviously isn't even the username or email address isn't uh, recorded either. So that's uh, is that how you can administer the voting process um, for PR type elections and uh, ensure anonymity. So that's how that bit works. Let's go back now to Moodle again and give a quick overview of how that process is actually uh, how that question sorry and the questionnaire is. Uh, used to achieve that. So if we go back to the um, top of the page, back to the main page. So I'm in here as the administrator. Editing is turned on, as you can see at the moment. So therefore, I can add a new activity. And uh, the questionnaire is the activity I'm using. In an earlier video, I mentioned feedback. And that wasn't correct. Okay. So on the other clip, when I was explaining the choice activity, I mentioned feedback once or twice when I should have been talking about questionnaire. It slipped my mind at the time, but I realized it afterwards. So here goes questionnaire. So I'm going to call it GAA presidential election. Okay, or presidential ranking, we'll call it. Okay, presidential ranking. And there's various settings here, just like everything else in Moodle. There's various settings here that I, I'm going to skim over, really, because they'll take up too much time. But one of the important ones is the, the time. So what I can do is I can say that this voting will only be open on a certain date and a certain time and will automatically close. So an opening date there and closing date. So there's, there's a date and a time in there, which is a very important feature. Okay. Uh, the response options can be respond many or respond once. So we choose respond once. In one version of this clip, you um, saw the full name of the voter and in the other version, you saw that the voters details were anonymous. Uh, by default in Moodle, in most uh, educational settings, students can view all results after the questionnaire is completed. In other words, after doing your, your quiz or your activity. Whereas in this GAA case, uh, just for safety sake, we'll say never. You can always change it back to uh, the second least dangerous one, which is this one, after the questionnaire is closed. Okay. Um, but obviously that would be that's important. So never is the default. Uh, the sense of mission notifications I haven't explored too much, and most of the remaining features I think aren't too important. Okay, so the important uh, aspects here are the timing. Okay, the, the opening and closing date, 
the type respond once and respond and type anonymous or in, if, it, if, you're, if the details are needed you can use full name we go for anonymous so that's how we actually set up the um the questionnaire so that's just the questionnaire set up okay that doesn't set up the question so i need to hit choose save and display i'll go back into it again okay so i now need to add questions okay so this is a questionnaire has been set up but there's no questions on it so when it comes to adding the questions in this case we only want to add one question and there's a list of question types here okay check boxes dates uh, drop downs etc the one we need is called a rating scale so we'll add that question type so we'll call it uh, rank the presidents okay rank pres response required yes or no i've left it at no maybe it should be yes okay the number of scale items okay now obviously if there's four candidates that's going to mean four uh, possibilities so we could reduce it down from five to four or if there's six candidates it needs to be six the type of rating scale uh the default is normal but in the gaa's case we want uh no duplicate choices so if we left it at normal we could rank all four of them as a one or all four of them as a two which we don't obviously that doesn't serve any purpose and won't help us in the GAA. So what we want here is no duplicate choices. So that means then that you have to uh, rank them one, two, three, four. Now I'm not sure actually if you can leave out a candidate. That's the one thing I haven't checked. Uh, can you rank one, two, three, and then ignore the fourth candidate? I didn't try that in my testing. So that's a flaw in my testing. So that's how we go about the setup of the question. Okay. That's sorry, I need a question. Apologies. So the question text is rank the GAA presidents. Okay. And possible answers. So if we go down here, I forget the order that I wrote Nikki Brenner, I think, was number one. I think Sean Kelly was number two. Uh, Christy Tony was number three. And um, Liam O'Neill was number four. Okay. Uh, Named degrees is there that the very last setting I haven't checked either. Tell me. Select text to display for rate values rather than numbers. Okay, leave a blank value not to use. Okay, I haven't really tested that in my testing either. So the bit that's been shown here so far is the, are there the settings that I employed in the demo I've just um, run. So I'll save my changes. And what I can do here is I can actually preview it, okay? So here's my preview, and in my preview, I can go one, two, three. I'll ignore Lee Monil and see what happens. Does it give me an error or does it force me to? Okay, so it's forcing me to, it seems anyway, that it's forcing me to rank all four of them. So that's the possible flaw in this particular approach. One, two, three, four. So I'll go with Lee Monil this time and see does it. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the possible catch in this approach that you have to vote for all the candidates in this um, in this uh, questionnaire setting. So that's the end of the clip, and thank you for watching.